adventure. Well, I have with me Phil Mogg, the man looking like Tom Jones on a bad night in that video there. Phil, do you like smoked salmon? Have a bit of what I need left behind. It you want, you looks a bit uh, dubious to me. Is oh, no, I don't get from the. Are you a rock and roller? What do you eat? Um, not smoked salmon. It's usually in those gold tubes. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Carlsberg Special Brew. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, Get your teeth into no, it. Is. No, we, we don't have any uh, smoked salmon on our rider. Just Berg Outrider? What's Outrider. That? Just what's the real basics. What's a rider? The rider is what you have when you go to the gig. Oh, right. You mean sort of someone who organises the food and stuff? Yeah, what, what you require. Now, Phil, you're the man behind UFO, the band that had smashes like Doctor Doctor in the late 80s. And, um, you know, what's, in, you know, just very briefly, what happened to UFO between then and now? I mean, there was a couple of split-ups and things like that. It's basically been one of those ongoing situations where we work together or work with different people, and then when you feel like calling it a day for a while, you sort of pack up, and, and if you want to get back together again, you do. You know, it's not a... It's not like a kind of a, an ongoing group thing, we sort of stop and then start playing when we want to. Well, um, your record company um, has been like plugging us fairly hard to put you on because you're connected with this Metal Hammer Christmas party in aid of the Great Auburn Street's Children's Hospital Wishing Well Appeal on the 23rd. That's pretty good, wasn't Very it? Very good. Huh? But, um, you know, tell me, what is your involvement in all of this? Because, you know, as I said, they've really been shoving you hard at us. Well, the, we was asked if, you know, we'd like to do it. It seemed a real good thing. So we said, yeah, you know, just get the band together. Have you got kids of your own? Yeah. I mean, you know, are you doing it because you actually are interested in kids' charities and stuff well, like there, that? There wouldn't be any other reason for getting it together. I mean, um, it, it seemed appealing to the group to do it. And um, it's, I mean, it seemed like good fun. What's it all going to be about then? What do you mean, the playing? The charity. The charity. To raise enough money, or more than enough money, if you charge... Uh, six, what is it, six to eight pounds, I think, per, per person. You should mm. be able to raise about 15,000 from the, from the actual gig. Yeah. Has this been a rush job, this, um, this whole thing? Because, um, some people I'm talking to Metal Hammer seem to suggest that it was. It's been fast, but, um, when you're professional. <laughs> Do you think if you weren't in the music business, you'd be as committed to charity as you obviously seem to be? Not really. Well, I mean, um, it's, it's having one of those uh, to be able to do something at the moment. I, I mean, if I wasn't actually in, doing, um, in a group or singing in a group, I wouldn't have that. You know, that wouldn't be possible to do it. What, you mean you wouldn't have any way of actually contributing? Well, it would be rather difficult. Yeah. I mean, not as much, anyway. I mean, it strikes me that quite a lot of bands and, and other organizations are living off live aid like using you know charity organizations for a bit of free publicity what do you think of that i don't know i think that um any, basically if you get the money in for the charity then any publicity is good publicity um i, I mean in this instance it doesn't really relate because we're not that kind of group this what is, sorry you're not that kind of group you know we're, uh, this is a heavy rock group um, and it's not not been over publicized as a kind of it's not like your band aid stuff and then everything else because mm. but I'm, then again I think if this was just a UFO gig you wouldn't be here now it's the fact that it's a you know supposedly a big charity organization that's why you're talking to me well we could have done a UFO gig but I think this is better yeah yeah it's more beneficial now, apparently the original UFO was supposed to be lining up for this. It was like bury the hatchet of past times. What's happened? It's real difficult. You've got um, Michael's playing somewhere else, Pete's of playing somewhere else. Mm. Um, what about, if, that, if they're playing elsewhere, what about their commitment to charity, though, you know? It seems like qu quite often, you know, when a music, you know, when a rock star's not on tour or something, do something else, get a bit of publicity, go and, you know, do some charity work. I mean, that doesn't sound like real commitment to me. Probably not. It's extremely difficult, though, to get sort of five people in one place at one time when they're all doing other things. Um, at the moment, it's the same lineup that we had on the Misdemeanor Tour, which we did England and Europe. So mm. it's basically the same UFO lineup that we had. So what are going to be the attractions on the night, apart from UFO, of course? <laughs> and that's salmon. Um, <laughs> no, it should be... Uh, 
there's quite a lot of people turning up, and it's, it should be quite a, a real like big Like what? I mean... I don't know, I'm not supposed to say it. No, there's quite a few. It, Come on, you should be up on all this stuff, Phil. Well, hang on, there's supposed to be... No. Well, well listen, quite... Phil, thanks very much for coming Thank in. Thank you. If anyone wants to find out about this charity organisation, it's Metal Hammer Christmas Party at the Astoria, London, on the 23rd of um, December, and it's in aid of the Great Auburn Street Children's Hospital. Wishing well appeal. Phil, thanks very much. Hope it goes well. Thank you.